All right, so the next results on this list is um, my maternal haplogroup, right? And I get this from my mother's side of the family and just all the women who came, you know, before my mother as well. It's passed down through, the, through your mom, right? And they list my maternal haplogroup as L1, or capital L1, lowercase b1, lowercase a. All right. And let's see what they have to say about this. All right. Maternal haplogroup. You descend from a long line of women that can be traced back to Eastern Africa over 150,000 years ago. These are the women of your maternal line, and your maternal haplogroup sheds light on their story. So, now also goes on to say, if every person living today could trace his or her maternal line back over thousands of generations, all of our lines would meet at a single woman who lived in Eastern Africa between 150,000 and 200,000 years ago. Though she was one of perhaps thousands of women alive at the time, only the diverse branches of her haplogroup have survived today. The story of your maternal line begins here. All right. So basically, right, that's just saying that I have a direct link to the maternal, you know, to, you know, a death a direct link through my maternal DNA, right? I believe my mitochondria DNA, right, traces directly back to Africa, right? Very much to like the earliest people, you know, the original woman, right? It traces back to the original woman on this earth, right? Who gave birth to humanity, right? Ain't that beautiful, y'all? Ain't that just a blessing, you know, to be related directly, you know, to have a direct DNA connection to, you know, the original woman, right? You know, the first human beings, you know, on this planet who ushered in and gave birth to the rest of humanity. Beautiful, just beautiful. All right, let's see what my paternal haplogroup is. This is going to be interesting. All right, so according to 23andMe, my paternal haplogroup is J, or capital J dash capital M six seven. All right. And by the way, um, your paternal haplogroup usually, I believe, is traced through the Y chromosome. So I think oftentimes, like, I think the women won't be able to know their paternal haplogroup unless maybe, like, their father or one, at least one of their brothers take the test. Because uh, women only have the X chromosome. Uh, men have both X and Y chromosomes. A little, you know, basic biology lesson, just in case. All right. <clears throat> but yeah, um, so that's my paternal haplogroup. Um, and the information they're um, saying on this, um, let's see. Understand your paternal haplogroup's migration pattern. Um, okay. So haplogroup, capital J-M, or capital J-dash, capital M, one, Seven to migration. Okay, that haplogroup is most common in southern Europe, Anatolia, and the Caucasus, where it may have originated about 36,000 years ago. It appears to have spread into Europe in a number of waves over the course of millennia. All right, highlight haplogroup. J dash M one 
72 is found in nearly one quarter of Sephardic Jew men, Jewish men, uh, Sephardic Jewish men. <laughs> There's that Jewish thing coming up again. Hey, really? Oh, that is that true? Like, do I not know some? Uh, <laughs> hmm. I actually, yeah. Um. You know, a while ago, quick sidebar. Um, a while ago, I actually did um get in contact with a relative. Um, I had to like some kind of like DNA ish tests. And um, it told you like your haplogroup, group, and this guy wound up contacting me. Um, I guess we have like a genetic connection some generations back, and he happens to be Jewish, right? <laughs> so I guess it is. Tr uh, it's just it's a little weird. I'm like, where did it come from? You know, because I can understand where like the British and Irish came from, but the Jewish part is a little weird. But some, you know, the pro-black community especially say like, oh, you know, the Jewish people were behind the slave trade. But then there was like, well, the Catholic Church was behind the slave trade. So I don't know. I really don't know. All right. <clears throat> right. So um, example populations, Ashkenazi Jew uh, Jews, so uh, Sephardic Jews, Lebanese. OK, so those are the people who would uh, perhaps have this particular uh, or be, belong to this particular haplogroup, perhaps, right? And of course, you notice that my haplogroup does not trace, you know, my paternal haplogroup does not trace back to Africa, actually. It traces back more so to like Europe slash Middle Eastern ish, you know, <laughs> kind of like when Europe meets the Middle East kind of type thing. Yeah, but it was no surprise to me because I already knew that it was going to trace back to Africa for a number of reasons, <laughs> and, you know, um, and that is somewhat common when it comes to African-American males, you know, even males that perhaps don't even look, you know, quote unquote mixed, you know, that can happen, you know, because I have folks in my family who don't you know, on my father's side of the family who don't look quote unquote mixed, but based on my test results, I'm pretty sure their haplogroup would be pretty much the same, right? you know, or more or less the same. So, yeah. All right. Uh, very interesting. <laughs>